Hello, Bluetooth, it's the one and only Icebound Glaceon, and this is a tutorial on how to set up OpenVR advanced settings and or PlaySpace Mover. First thing you want to do is you want to head to your browser, you want to, you want to search up OpenVR advanced settings. Um, of course, I'm doing everything in VR so you guys can see, you know, yada yada, no one cares. Uh, let's just do... Joint. You want to click on that one, doesn't really matter. Should be the first one. All right, and you want to scroll down to there's a new version. Click that. You'll want to click on releases, and you'll want to download this one right here. Once you have that downloaded, you'll want to go to your dock. Uh, you'll want to run it and install it. All right, you run it, install it. Um, I recommend not having Steam open for this, it shouldn't really matter. Uh, once you do have it installed, when you open your Steam VR, which you guys should be able to see my screen right now, uh, when you open a menu, you should have the Advanced Settings tab, and it should look like this. Uh, the nice thing about OpenVR Advanced Settings mm -hmm. is you can adjust your chaperone, so like mine has no border around it. You can also fix your play mm -hmm. space, so you can either recenter it and or you know level it out again, which is really nice. And it also can adjust the height mm -hmm. of explore. Uh, you mm -hmm. have your motion tab, which is what you use for play space mover, which you'll either enable right or left hand or both. Uh, you can mess with gravity settings. You can easy, even use it for turning and stuff. Um, but once you've selected which hand you mm -hmm. want to do. You can go back to um, your Steam VR little menu here. You'll want to click on Devices, Controller Settings. So uh, if you don't have the show old binding UI, I'm not sure how to help you, but I can try. Uh, but you'll want to click on that one. It should bring up this menu right here. Just move that out of the way slightly. And you'll want to scroll down. Uh, you'll see a show more tab. So I'll just close that and open again. I guess it's saved it, but there should be a show more tab. And you'll want to go to advanced settings. And if you don't have an edit button, you can always hit view or view someone else's. Right? And then you can hit the uh, edit button at the bottom. So it should be view, and then it should be edit this binding. And then you can set them to whatever you want. Um, I just have them set to these, doesn't really matter. Uh, I modified all my buttons anyways. You can also go to the games you play and modify your controls that way as well. Like I've customized mine just a little bit, just to make it easier for myself. Um, as for people using, I believe, the Oculus, they won't see the show old binding UI, unfortunately. So they'll have to do it this way, and it should show up in this list here. If not, then uh, I guess you'd have to go to the website online. Uh, I'll have to put a link for the uh, the website that brings it up for you. But uh, it should show up there, and if not, then I am really sorry. But yeah, once you've set up your controls and you have the advanced settings installed, Right, so you have advanced settings, you have enabled the motion tab, you should be able to push the button. Right, um, let's see. Yeah, you should be able to move yourself around in your play space. Uh, since I have full body, it detaches my feet from the floor, otherwise, your feet are welded to the floor. I can also go to the offsets tab and reset it, which is also nice. I can even go into my controls and put a button for reset, which is also really nice. But yeah, if this video was helpful at all, please hit the like button. If it wasn't, then why are you still watching? There's <laughs> so many YouTubers that do this kind of stuff better. Uh, later on, I'll be showing how to do um, desktop audio through your mic, if that's interesting for any of you guys. I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!